Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make your React applications more reliable. Your components and class names will always be consistent. And the next time, when you remove a class name so it no longer exists, you will get a compilation error. First, let's create a React application with TypeScript components. For this, in the command line, we need to execute npx create react app. Let's call it my app template and TypeScript and press enter. Next, we go to the app folder, cd my app and execute the command npm run start to make sure that the application works. Now, if we open the app TSX component, we see import app.css. So this line imports styles from the CSS file and we can use them as class names at the line seven and eight. But what if we change the name of this class or completely remove it? So let's go to the app CSS, remove it and save. In this case, the application is still running and we don't get any errors or warnings by default. This means that sometimes we may not even notice such inconsistency in our application. This is even more frustrating as we don't get any benefits from using the TypeScript type system. So let me show you how to improve this situation. And for now I want to return the remove class. OK. First of all, we need to install an npm package. So let's open the command line. And it's called DTS CSS Modulus Loader. So we press enter and wait for it. This is a simple loader that generates TypeScript declaration files based on the CSS files it found. Okay, next we need to include this style loader in our pipeline. For this, I'm going to update the webpack configuration file. So let's stage our changes by executing git add and git commit, some initial commit. Okay. Now we can run the npm run eject command, which allows us to update the configuration files. So we click yes, it's running. And you see that we have the configuration folder. Next in the webpack.config.js, we find the configuration section like CSS regex. Here we go. So this configuration section is responsible for applying style loaders. What I want to do is to change it. So let's paste another one. And here you see that for our CSS styles, we now apply a list of these loaders. And DTS CSS modulus loader is one of them. Let's save it and build the application. I need to type npm run build. It's building. And now when the build is complete, you can see two new files. One of them is app.css.dts. So this file has been generated by our loader. You can see that the file now contains the declaration of our CSS class names. So let's open our app.tsx component and finally import our class names. All we have to do is update the import line to import classes from app.css. OK, the styles are broken now, but we're going to fix it in a second. Now we can reference our class names using the classes object. For example, we change this class name to classes.app. App header we change to classes.appheader. App logo we also change to classes app logo. And we also have the app link. Here we go. Let's restart the application. And now if I refresh it, we can see that it works as before. But what if we change the class name or completely remove it? Let's name it header fake, save it and restart the application again. And from now on, in case of any inconsistency with our styles, we will receive an error message in the Visual Studio code like app header does not exist on type. Also, there is one problem is shown at the problems tab 
And finally, if you refresh your application, you can see the fail to compile message. In my opinion, this approach is extremely helpful and absolutely a must for any large React application. And that's all for today. I hope this approach will make your React applications more solid and you save a lot of time. The link to the source code is in the description of this video and I hope to see you next time.